Friday, January 19th, 2024. Uh, and what do we have on The View today? We got some, we're still talking about whether or not Nikki Haley is a racist. Um, <laughs> Jody Foster was on. Uh, oh, we're talking about um, people getting fired and putting that on social media. And what was the, oh, they're suing Madonna. Um, so let's start with Nikki Haley. Um, the... <laughs> Amy Elsa Farrah Farley Griffin um, is really getting on my nerves. Uh, she it has she said that in a couple of weeks, um, you know, after New Hampshire, uh, we're going to know whether or not she's a viable candidate. Two states, two states will have voted, and then it, it, and if she didn't win either of them, then it, her campaign is over. I just this primary system annoys the crap out of me. Um, I mean, I don't like her. I don't want her to be president, but it doesn't, I, I just don't think any of it is very fair. There's so many, she was on another fucking town hall last night. We have so many 24 hour news outlets that are more than willing to give up free airtime for these candidates. Um, we could be able to condense this, uh, this, um, this election period, um, confine it to within the year that the election is actually happening. Um, you know, start your campaign on January 1st, um, do whatever you need to do to fundraise and um, get yourself on uh, whatever program you can get on to gain some, um, uh, you know, some uh, viewability, visibility, and uh, take advantage of these opportunities when, you know, MSNBC or Fox or CNN or any of them want to talk to the candidates. Let everybody do that. For you know, a few months maybe, and then have every primary, every state vote in their primary in, um, in May, <laughs> like just so that it, you know we don't putting we're not putting all this pressure on, um, and its importance on Iowa and New Hampshire, which are like super white states. Um, I just I, I the whole thing bugs me. So anyway, she's um, and so I think they should stop saying she's not a racist. Well, if she's not a racist, then she sure is saying a lot of things that um, uh, that uh, speak to the heart of, you know, what racists are looking for. So I don't know if you can say you're not racist, but you're supportive of their ideas. <laughs> like, that's irritating the crap out of me. Um, and, you know, I look forward to not having to talk about her again. Because um, I don't think she'll be a running mate choice. Uh for Trumpy, although, you know, Ramaswamy might be, that's a scary thought. Um, ugh. Uh, although the debate between him and um, uh, Kamala Harris would be very interesting because she's so calm and measured and he's such a, um, a, a you know, like a, a walking Red Bull. Um, anyway, uh, so, yeah, whatever, Nikki Haley. Um, let's see how the rest of this primary season goes, because apparently it's going to be over in a couple weeks, which is great. Then we can stop talking about them. Um, and, uh, you know, a couple of gays are suing Madonna for showing up late to her concert. You know what? Boo-hoo. Uh, you had to stay up late. You had to get up early in the morning. Then don't buy tickets to a Madonna concert. She's notoriously late all the time. Um, and you have to know that, but going in, like, it's, it's not a secret. She's late to every show. Um, and which is really annoying because if you don't want to start your show until 1030 Madonna, make the show start at 1030. Don't say, don't sell tickets for a nine o'clock show, um, or an eight o'clock show and then not show up. I just, I don't, that, that drives me insane. I'm with Sarah on this, like show up, start when you're supposed to start. Um, you've got. You got a 10 minute window. I think that's, you know, that's sort of the, the Broadway window is that you got a, you got 10 minutes till curtain. Um, and that's usually just to make sure that everybody who is already there has been able to get in and sit down. Um, so I, I just, I'm, I, I'm not a fan of that. I also like to know what the opening acts are, but I know, I realize they don't always, they're not gonna give you a schedule of who's performing when, because the whole idea and part of the, the, the advantage of being an opening act is that you get to see the 
fans of that of the bigger artist get exposed to your um, music. But Madonna doesn't have an opening act; she's got a DJ, and you know that is that performance is only going to matter to a tiny portion of people. Um, and uh, get over yourselves. I, there's no reason to sue her um, because you had to stay out late. Um, but uh, you know, don't go to the concert. Yeah, those are your choices. If you're gonna go, expect she's gonna be late, or don't go. Um, but I agree with Sarah. <coughs> it's rude to re disrespect people's time like that. Excuse me. Ooh, that's dry. Um, <laughs> if employers, if you get fired for cause, um, this is that whole thing about people putting on TikTok and social media about getting fired. If you're fired for cause, um, then you're only putting yourself on blast. You fucked up and you lost your job because of it. That's on you. If you were laid off, um, if employers don't want uh, the let go employee to sound off, you make a severance agreement and pay them for it. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, you're, uh, you deserve what you get. Um, uh online or otherwise so it's it, it that's just a, a showing a lack of respect for the employee um even when you're letting them go uh there should be um uh some sort of negotiable uh, uh exit for that uh process but whatever um and then uh oh wait nikki haley she said, this is this annoyed the crap out of me, sorry. Um, she said in her town hall uh, that, that Trump needs to be held accountable, no one is above the law. She can't, you, you don't get to say that and then say you're gonna pardon him. That's just that, when Anna Navarro said she's like the um, the, the thing outside of a used car lot, it, it, she does, she sort of flaps in the wind. She says whatever sort of expedient at the moment, but it doesn't, I'll, compute you can't say no one is above the law and then say but he needs to be pardoned and him with his whole every president needs immunity well then you can't whine that um the current department of justice is um is investigating you for crimes that you committed first of all it's not a vendetta it's not that it's not the biden administration going i'll get you missy it's um it, it's literally you did things wrong and the Department of Justice is coming after you for it, but you're whining that it's a political witch hunt, which you're saying you should have the ability to do as president. You should be able to hunt all the witches you want. Um, so I don't, I, like, that's another one, talking out of both sides of your mouth. It's exhausting. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It was um, it's interesting. I realized that um, Jodie Foster isn't much older than I am. Um, and she was introduced as uh, a legend. And I was like, oh, hmm. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, she's been very busy and she's very good at what she does. Um, but it's also like, oh crap. You know, age just sort of sneaks right up on you. Um, anyway, that's what we've got for this week. Uh, and, you know, and yet another snowstorm. Um, and it, and the whole country's freezing, which obviously is proof to all the knuckle draggers that um, global warming doesn't exist because it's cold outside. Um, so <laughs> no matter that the polar ice caps are melting and causing more severe weather um, around the globe, but whatever, that would involve understanding some sort of science and um, uh, and maybe, you know, having a, a deeper understanding besides a bumper sticker. <laughs> 